Okay, up first, in one week, the Super Bowl takes over our televisions, and now Deadline reports that a number of studios are looking to take advantage of all those extra sets of eyeballs. Disney is said to be advertising two films, with Deadline believing it will be for Guardians of the Galaxy and Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tell No Tales. Fox is expected to advertise a psychological thriller, A Cure for Wellness, and possibly either Logan or Alien Covenant. Paramount will have one slot that will either go to Baywatch or Transformers the last night. Universal Pictures has at least one spot that could be the fate of or the, the Fast of the, and the Furious, The Mummy, or Fifty Shades Darker. Lastly, Sony Pictures has grabbed one spot for the pregame with Deadline saying it's most likely for another look at Spider-Man Homecoming. The Super Bowl airs on Sunday, February 5th. Christian, what do you think about the potential lineup of trailers for the Super Bowl? Uh, some of it, I say, predictable, but I'm confused by one. Warner Brothers is not, it looks like they're not going to be promoting anything. Yeah. I don't get that. I mean, that, that studio right now, I think, needs all the... It, right, it's got to promote. It's got to promote. It's got to promote. That's, it, for some reason, it, they're not taking the opportunity. And I guess that some could say, well, it costs $5 million a spot. Do they really get the benefit from using that money? I don't know. Maybe not. But I think that they, they have a few movies. And I'm not just talking about Justice League or, or these other movies that are coming. I'm talking about... Or Wonder Woman. You know, we, I'm surprised they're not putting Wonder Woman out there mm-hmm. this early. That, that was a bit of a shock. As far as the Disney ones and people are like, are, I've been getting tweeted, are you, are you surprised that episode eight is not there? No, there's no reason to put episode eight. I think yeah, I was a little surprised that they're not going to be doing uh, Beauty and the Beast, but I guess we get a Beauty and the Beast spot tonight with uh, the, Wendy was telling me The Bachelor tonight is going to be doing that, and th- that'll be your final trailer, so why waste the money if you don't have to? Pirates of the Caribbean and Guardians... Yeah, I think those are the two movies. You really want to get the eyes on on Pirates. I mean, you have to get the eyes on Pirates because that is a franchise that some people were on board for the, for the first three. The fourth one still did okay, but people were like, all right, I think I'm tired of it now. This is a way of them saying, we're back. Here we go. And they're going to show it at one of the biggest audience. So I get it. Makes sense. Anything else stand out to you? Uh, the one that stands out to me is Fox, actually, because I don't think it's going to be a cure for wellness. It just doesn't seem like they would throw $5 million at that movie, even though it's coming out a couple weeks after the Super Bowl. What I hope it is, is Alien Covenant, because you talk about making an announcement, <laughs> making a splash. That trailer really hooked a lot of people. If you can keep that momentum going forward, that's a great spot to do it in. The Wonder Woman thing really surprises me, but, I mean, look, it's not like people aren't going to be aware Wonder Woman's coming out when they need to know it's coming out, because nobody needs to know that Wonder Woman or Guardians of the Galaxy or Episode 8 are movies that are coming out later this year in February. We don't need to know that. I think that this is a, a shift in how people market their movies during the Super Bowl because, yeah, everybody's going to be watching the game, but these movies have so much of an opportunity now with online marketing to make their presence known sooner to the actual release date. So this is kind of a new trend in Super Bowl marketing where you don't have to throw, if you have a big movie, it's not required to put it during the Super Bowl. Something interesting to note, though, is that Adam Driver is apparently mm-hmm. going to be in a Snickers commercial during the Super Bowl. Adam Driver, <laughs> Snickers commercial. Will there be an Episode Eight joke in there? Probably. Probably. I mean, it was good so, enough for me. Yeah, we'll see. Perry, what do you think? I don't even need that Episode Eight bit. I just want to see Adam Driver <laughs> right. in a Snickers commercial. That's fine. I also really dig this graphic, Remy. I, I want to see that game. I was going to say, know? this right. is the perfect way to promote everything, so job well done there. It really, you hit on the only surprise, and it's that Warner Brothers is not bringing any of their superhero properties to Super Bowl. But again, this article that this was based on was just speculation. Right. For all we know, it's not Guardians and Pirates, and it's something else for Disney. And it's the same thing thing can be said for Warner Brothers where they still have the opportunity to do promotional partners, kind of like the Snicker things, potentially name dropping, uh, name dropping mm-hmm. Star Wars. You could have it's like the they mentioned the the Turkish Airlines thing for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice last year. Right. They could do something similar for Wonder Woman and Justice League this year, so maybe it will have a presence. Overall, I think that might be a smarter move because even though we're all sitting here waiting for these 30 seconds, a minute long trailers, the way to keep us talking and keep the conversation interesting to me is to use unique promotional opportunities like maybe a Snickers commercial or a Turkish airline commercial. And then it can at least go viral in a different way than a trailer could because then they'll still drop a trailer a couple weeks later and people right. still eat it up. Uh, Wendy, so you hear about these potential trailers that are going to hit on Super Bowl. Does any... Oh, there you go. Where's Wendy? <laughs> so I see this is what I do when I host. I throw everybody out of whack. Um, but I want the opinions of both of you guys. So let's, let's hear Natasha and Wendy. You hear about these potential trailers. Do you care about any of them? 
Yes, because that's the only reason why I watch the Super Bowl. Oh, it's like, fair. I don't care <laughs> about football, um, but See? yeah, so I all I care about turn. are the trailers yeah. and halftime show. Lady yeah. Gaga. Yes, I mean I'm, I'm I like football. <laughs> I don't care as much for either of these teams that are playing. So it's uh, I'm not like as Mark Ellis is throwing me like. You guys most. have no desire to see if Brady gets a fifth ring to put him He's ahead gonna, of Joe Montana well, in the all time. No, we shall see. But I am right. I am excited to see. Um, it's it's more it's like exciting, you know, to see what these trailers are going to be because we all know it costs a lot of money to have a spot in the Super Bowl. So. Right. Bring it. So they better be good trailers, that's what I'm saying. What do you guys think is more disappointing, that Warner Brothers doesn't put anything in there or the fact that Mark Ellis is so disappointed that I'm not going to watch the Super Bowl? <laughs>